up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the McFarlane Toys The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Geralt of Rivia figure. Now of course this is based on the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt video game which I do have right here on PlayStation 4 and this is an awesome video game and I must admit I haven't finished this yet. I still haven't finished it yet but it is an awesome uh, video game. Now this is of course based on like, the Geralt of Rivia that's in the video game because you know that I actually have the live action series, you know, for Henry Cavill playing Geralt on uh, Netflix, which I still haven't seen any of those yet. I plan on watching them though, but this is based on the actual video game version of the figure. So I'm definitely kind of excited about it, you know, so I'm going to get into this right now. So as you can see, this is the box that contains the figure. It says The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. You can see Geralt on the inside, the accessories that he has. It also has his name right there. There's also another version of this where he has on like a different armor, it's like a brown version. But this is actually like the one that you kind of really see like whenever promoting Geralt. This is the kind of uh, armor that he does have on like the dark black one, you know. And of course they have an image of him on the back too. It says 22 moving parts. CD Project Red it also has like the name right on the side with his name. Geralt of Rivia. So I'm going to just open this on up. This is the background art that comes with the other uh, figure and they had the stand attached to it right there as McFarlane Toys always do. First up is the uh, stand for uh, Gerald Arivia. And this is nicely done. Got the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt logo on it. And of course you got like, the standard page that McFarlane Toys gives us. Then up next is the actual uh, Geralt of uh, Rivia figure right here too. That. So I'll probably use the stand for him. Um, what I do first is actually uh, measure him. And Geralt is just over 7 inches in height. So what I do first is talk about like, the likeness and articulation you know, of the figure. Now I must admit, and he does stand pretty good, as you can see, you know, he doesn't really need to stand. But the likeness on this girl right here is awesome. I really think McFarlane Toys did a good job with this. He even has like the scar right there on his eye. The likeness to how he looks in the video games I think is done pretty good. Especially like his clothes. I'm kind of surprised at this too. Like the actual like material like of his clothes, like his armor. It looks good, as you can see this is like plastic right here, and it can be kind of lifted. It looks nice. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this could be one of the best McFarlane Toys figures that I have ever seen. As you can see, this is like a rubber material too. That hook right there. Now, I know it's like his, uh, the, uh, the thing that you put his swords in, I think it's called sheaths, right? These are actually, uh, it looks like they're removable because you can see like, there's like a peg right there on the inside. But I'll just leave it there. But it looks like he's like sculpted and uh, painted pretty good. I don't even see any like smearing of like the paint, you know. Like the bees on like a lot of McFarlane Toys figures or figures of this kind. Now, I know Garrow's arms can raise up like this. So he does like have a bend like in the arm so you can't do him like that. His head can turn kind of, it's kind of limited because the way his hair is like sculpted in the back right there so it's kind of limited. Looks like he can't really look up that much but kind of down but not too much. He can do a split. They can go up. He does have a bend. It's kind of tight, but it is like a bend in his knee, so you can't like bend his legs. Hands swivel so they can't rotate. Of course, the feet too, as well. He even has like the bend in the feet right there, too, like in the toes, so you can't bend his toes. And the rock too. 
kind of not too much. And he does, uh, he stands uh, pretty good. Now I must admit, I think this is probably one of the best figures I've seen from McFarlane Toys like here recently. Like the paint looks pretty good on it, you know, and so on. So I think they did a pretty good job on this. And it really does look how he looks like in the, uh, the actual video game too. It really does like Geralt from the actual video game. Now I want to talk about the accessories that come with the Geralt of Rivia figure from McFarlane Toys. The first one I want to do is that his, uh, and I think this is the Steel Sword, because I must admit, I, I forget the names of these swords. So this here is the actual silver sword. And this is nicely done. You can still tell it's just like plastic, you know, but I think they painted it pretty good. It's pretty long, too, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and actually even measure it to see how long it is. Looks like it's, yeah, it's about six inches. So it's a pretty uh, long sword. Then Geralt also has the, uh, I think this is the silver sword. And the difference, of course, you can tell like in both of these are the actual like handles in the swords. I mean, not the handles, but these, these parts right here. I forget what they actually call those, but around like the hilt area, they're actually like different. Cause you can tell this is the one that's kind of short and it does have like this curve in it too. Whereas this one is the one that looks real long and it's like completely straight. It doesn't have like a curve in it, you know. Now you also can take these and apparently put these on the back of a girl. And it's a, I think you call those sheets. So I'm going to see if I can try it. I guess the large one will go in the one that's real large. Or you can just probably put them in either one. I'm not too sure how it would go. But as you can see, they are actually on his back right there. I don't have them pushed in all the way, but they are right there on his back. So you can't see they actually went in pretty good. I bet I probably ain't got them right, though. I bet I, bet I got them wrong. Because you can't really tell which one. Actually, you can. You can tell that this one is actually longer. And that's how I did it. So I put the longer sword in the uh, the longer uh, sheath. That's what you call those. That's where the concept of Geralt. Is this actual werewolf head that apparently he already has decapitated? You can see he has like a rope around it too. You can see that the wolf's eyes and so on. This is nicely sculpted too, even the paint. I think they did a pretty good job on. You can even see where it was like beheaded too, right there, like the flesh with the you know the meat with inside. It even has like a handle right here, like on the rope, so Gerald can actually just hold this, like if he wants. Okay, that's the McFarlane Toys, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Geralt of Rivia figure. I must admit, I am surprised. I think it's probably one of the best figures I have seen yet from McFarlane Toys. I really think it's that good. Now, one of the swords, I think it was the uh, Silver Sword, if I'm not mistaken, the one with the extra curve, like, handle on it. That one behind it kind of has, like, a, a warp blade, so if you want, you have to probably loosen it with, like, a blow, blow dryer or a hair dryer or something like that, you know. But some people use, like, hot water. But then I think, like, the sculpting and the paint on it, I think, was done pretty good from what I was seeing. I didn't notice that the paint was, like, smeared all around and everything. And I have been hearing that before the toys figures have been getting better from what I've been hearing, you know. I have been kind of noticing it myself. But I am a fan of the uh, video game, too, itself, which I do have right here on the... Uh, PlayStation 4, and this is uh, The Witcher 3 Wild, and this is an awesome game. I actually have the complete edition of it, too, as well. And I still haven't even finished it yet. You know, it's so huge and massive, but it was awesome, though. So I would definitely recommend picking this one up, especially if you're a fan of The uh, Witcher 3 video game, you know, or the character of Gary Rivera. I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. So this is The McFarlane Toys, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Gerald Rivia figure. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.